order in the court. What's up? It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Ellie Booker. Let's bring him into the court of our public opinion. They wrote me and they said, should my son get a family law attorney? My son and daughter-in-law are getting a divorce. The divorce was initiated by her and he has defaulted and agreed to whatever she and her lawyer have set up. He has a copy of the decree and it will be finalized next week. It gives her sole conservatorship of their two children. Girls aged two years, I mean strike that, 10 years and 13 years. He's agreeable to the property and money part, which is that she keeps 100% ownership of the house they were buying and he keeps 100% ownership of his pension and retirement from his employer. He does not want to contest the divorce due to the cost. The decree does not say anything specific about him seeing the girls, when and how. I've been told by her that he's completely opposed to the girls seeing a psychotherapist if needed, and she wants them to have this if needed. Can she take them to a therapist without his consent? Do you see any reasons why my son should get an attorney in light of these facts? <laughs> Let's bring him to the court of our public opinion. Yes, I do. Reason one being you. Okay? You're a problem. I don't know what you're feeding your son and what you're telling him. But ma'am, if the parents think that the children need psychotherapy and your son doesn't want them to have it, can you tell me why he doesn't want to take them to therapy? Can you help me with that? Because if a child needs mental health assistance, then the parents should get it. And there should be no parent that is against the health, mental health, safety, and best interest of their children. So I am very shocked that you don't think a 10 and a 13 year old need to go to the therapist and that you want to make sure that they don't go if your son says no. Your son does not have custody. He didn't get, he gave up custody. And you're telling me that there is no specific time for him to see the girls, but he has signed this away. He signed this, 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 this decree. That you, ma'am, I am so sorry, but I'm going to have to have a real big, real big conversation with you right now, okay? I believe, and I'm not, I can't tell you what he is. That's not for me to say. But um, your son might possibly be a narcissist. He might possibly need some therapy himself because I'm not understanding why he doesn't even care that he does not have a proper visitation order. And I also don't get why he would sign a document that wouldn't give him that. And he has a copy of it in his hands and he even brought it to you. He even knows that it's going to be finalized next week and he's not trying to fight that. Why don't you ask yourself why your son doesn't care about seeing a 10 and a 13 year old, two girls who need their father? Would it be because uh, he and the kids aren't getting along because of what he's doing to the wife? Or I mean, because you're not really saying anything about that. I mean, I don't know. I'm getting confused, but... What makes me alarmed is that you have the nerve to ask these questions and that he doesn't want them to get psychotherapy. I think this decree is perfect. Given the circumstances. So let me go through your questions again because you asked me two questions. I think this is a good decree because you, nobody who doesn't want to get mental health help for children needs them. Needs primary custody at least. And um, do you see any reasons why my son should get an attorney in light of these facts? I don't. Because it seems as if your son took the safe way out before some things came out about him. And that seems as if that's the same reason why he doesn't want them to go to the therapist. <laughs> We're done here, guys. Court's in the recess. Time I made that call. I'm locked up and facing charges. Who gon' fight these cases for me? I called with the law firm. They got the job done. They were right there for me. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713 292 2225 or visit the website at bookerlawfirm.com.